I'm going to continue to get in today. Not looking at any record in particular. Probably just going to go for the standard two to three rounds. It's a Friday. I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit tired. So just going to chill. Steelix four. Polyrath four. Metagross one. Slightly strange mix. Steelix 4 is a bit concerning to set up on with Lapras because of the. It will explode after Stone Edge is out of PP. Gartromp should beat it. Um, the only question is if Steelix 4 can get a Quick Claw as well as a crit. So a second turn Quick Claw as well as a crit it could take out Gartromp. Polyrafo is a surprisingly problematic Pokemon because of the Focus Punch. Focus Punch is, of course, um, a 20 PP move. I can't stall out with with substitute like I can with certain other high powered fighting moves. Metagross is actually the least threatening of these three. I think what I'm going to do is send Steelix to 45. And ban guard trump so it okos it. And I'm just thinking if um, banded earthquake as well as seismic toss is enough for polyrath. It's probably not. So I'm probably sending polyrath to forty five two. And then Metagross can be left because it's not a threat. It's um, it's slower than Blissey. So we'll do that. There are solutions to this probably, which use up less points, but I'm not as worried about points as I am about losing. Choice Band has been an exceptionally common equip on on Garchomp. I'm going to mute quickly when my dog is barking. I hope that was the end of it. Yeah, it might have looked silly from the outside that that match was won so easily while I lowered their levels, but I uh, explained the problem with Steelix and also those, um, the hypnosis polyrath could have been a problem. I'm going to mute again.
So I hate facing Guanzong for this match is a little bit of a special exception because usually I can't face Guanzong for, but um, in this match it doesn't actually matter if it blows up on Lapras since um, Garchomp and Blissey will always uh, win the 2v2 at the end against Drapion and Vaporeon. So um, under 21 IV also helps a little bit slightly as well. So I can actually play this. I just have to make sure that Lapras doesn't lose to Bronzong without Bronzong blowing up. If Bronzong does blow up, that's completely fine. But um, before it blows up, it has um, two flinch moves in Iron Head and Zen Headbutt. And it has a quick claw. So I do not want to attempt fate on that too much. I'm going to put it down to 45. Um... And then the Drapion can be level 55 for sure. That will be out easily within um, Earthquake range. Vaporeon will probably leave it. We'll leave Vaporeon because I don't actually have huge flexibility on Blissey to just easily come in on multiple freezes. So if I get exceptionally unlucky, um, it could be trouble. So I'll leave it at 50. But we would want to try and have a lap press win, obviously. And again, this looks like it should be trivial, but of course, just imagine one's on getting a quick claw flinch on an earlier turn. It's easy to see how this could have gone very badly wrong. And it has gone wrong in the past with one's on. Um, we will need plus six to have a chance at two hit carrying Drapion and also to have a chance at four hitting four hit carrying um, Vaporeon but at plus six we are protected from explosion explosion probably doesn't even break the sub on its own at plus six defense So I'm expecting Vaporeon in because Surf does a lot more than any of Drapion's attacks out of a plus six. So there's a Shadow Ball. We can stay in with Lapras because we should four shot this. And the Spit Death Drop doesn't matter. And we should easily be able to heal up on Drapion. I should have ice sharted before I rested, but it's fine. Let's see if we can get the roll here. Yeah, nice. That's Bronze on four again. It's literally exactly what we just saw. <laughs> Um, again, this, if the teammates in the back are a problem for Garchomp and Blissey, then we might have to skip. It's Licky Licky. Which is okay. Explosion is a little bit random. That's Honchcrow 4. So Garchomp always beats Hornchrow 4. Blissey does not always beat Hornchrow 4. But Blissey is very likely to do it. Yeah, we're just... Arguably this should be a skip. I could drop the level of Licky Licky. At level 45, Licky Licky will still break Blissey's sub. Problem is, I don't think Garchomp can get Licky Licky at level 45.
Okay, I'm going to test out the dog not barking again. We're safe after two curses, basically. I do not even have to completely set up. I think I might leave curse at plus four. Gives me enough curse to fully set up on whatever the next battle is. Plus six would be useful for getting the two shot on Licky Licky, but it's not necessary. And at plus four, I should Oko Honch Crow. Licky Licky probably does break the sub with Explosion. But we didn't get any lacks in Sense Misses, that's nice. And then Honch Crow is very weak. That was a mistake I should have been on. Substitute, not drill pick when I knew I was asleep. Okay, let's see if you one shot from here. Yeah. So we do not need to heal Lapras's PP because we didn't use that much. That's going to uh this is Driftblim two. And this is the physical frost loss, which is frost loss two as well. So it's a set two trainer. With 31 IVs. Um These all suck. I don't want to lock into Outrage into Golem though, because Frostlass comes out next. I'm not sure if I can get Golem at 55 with Band. What health is... Gosh, Trump's at 127. I'm probably outside of Earthquake range. I think I can level it up. Um... Drift been surprisingly annoying because trick persists through games. You can definitely raise Frostlass up because it can't do anything to Lapras. We just need to stop cursing after two to prevent the psych up spam. I would like Drift Blim not to use the trick, but I think it might be unavoidable. I'm hoping that Garchomp does just OK Golem, it would be a simpler match if it did. It's about what I expect is, okay. Should still be easy for Lapras. So Gen 4 AI will not use Psych up and tell them at plus three or above in a certain stat. And Gen 4 AI is also very strange of how it uses Sucker Punch. It's very complicated, but it basically comes out to being random. So when I get this below 20%, yeah, I was just saying, I don't want to crit it first. I can start cursing. It will start using Psych up. And I'll use all the curses so that I one shot Drift Blim. We'll have to heal that press if it needs to be used at all. That's executor free. I always forget how much attack it has. That's Metagross 4. It's a very deadly set. 
That's Gardevoir free. This is a this is a bad opponent. Lapras cannot set up on Executor. And Focus Sash Trick Room into Explosion is a nightmare. And Lapras can't set up onto Metagross either because of Explosion. And the Quick Claw Meteor Mash raises are also potential loss. In fact, even God of Free is a bit of a problem for Blissey. Blissey is faster. Um, but God of War would only need to hit four out of five Focus Blasts, and then I would be forced to soft build naked, which could get a Psychic Spadef drop. Very awkward. I'm not even certain that the switching would prioritize Metagross over Gardevoir, because even with a brave nature and no investment, Executor's special attack is almost as high as its physical attack, so it's going to be very close between Zen Headbutt and Psychic on what the better switching move is. That makes it semi-random. I'm deliberating between skipping the entire match and sending them all to level 45. I think... Uh, the problem is it's so... Executor is so likely to use Trick Room to Explosion. It's the most common turn one two combination i would then be forced to go to lapras and god of our free could come in and if god of our free does come in i'll have to go to blissey and hope that it doesn't get a spadef drop from focus blast on the switch and even if it does i'll have to substitute um three times okay so at minimum Talking through that, that means at minimum I want Gardevoir to be level 45 then, surely. At level 45, Gardevoir could hit Lapras with a Focus Blast and I could sub twice into Rest, wasting free PP and then um, Lissy would be saved. That still leaves a problem with Metagross getting the Meteor Mash raises, though, so I have to send Metagross to 45 as well. At least at level 45, yeah, 205 attack. Metagross won't two shot Blissey or be able to crit one shot it. You can actually leave Ele Executor alone because it's, it's exactly the same problem. At, in fact, what is. Ah. Garchomp is in kill range, so Executor never uses Trick Room. I'm not even sure if that's a good thing, though. What I could... Uh, it sounds like an... Ins I don't want to... I'm not sure if I want to risk the streak on this. What I could do... Is outrage executor without healing. Lapras comes in. Executor will want to trick room. If it uses trick room as I use curse, it's just giving me a free turn. Actually, at plus one, Lapras could just beat Gardevoir. But Gardevoir has bright powder, I can't rely on that. If I'm wrong about trick room, and Executor uses Woodhammer on a plus one defense Lapras. That's dramatically worse. I want to risk that. Okay, we'll heal Garchomp then. I could also give Garchomp a Focus Sash. The problem with that is that I'm locking to Outrage anyway, so if it's a free turn Outrage, I still lose Garchomp. I can't do that. 
the level 45, I don't think Garchomp can two-shot Executor. Yeah, I don't think it can. So it's a spell then. The worst possible scenario here is pretty bad, admittedly. That's a lot better than Explosion. So this is always Psychic. And now it's forced to Focus Blast. There's two terms of Trick Room left. Just have to stay Substitute, I think. Okay, we can heal now. I'm happy to let Blissey take on Metagross at plus six evasion because Blissey is faster. That special attack boost is annoying. I think Psychic can probably break the crit. It can probably break the sub now without a crit. That's fine. Okay, good. We're favorites to win here. That's the worst possible turn one. Quick claw, meteor mash, attack raise. I'm not. I don't. I don't think I want to actually use substitute. I'm just giving it more chances to boost its attack. It would need plus two to be able to Oko Garchomp. God, that does so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to risk. I'm not going to risk trying to heal on that. That's Skeptile. That's Charizard 1. Is that Venusaur 2? Yes. There's a very small chance that Skeptile does not leave Steam on leave Storm on turn one. It could Dragon Pulse Garchomp, even though that's a lot weaker. But they, I'm not gonna. Hmm. I quite like healing Garchomp and outraging because Venusaur two can't win. I would love to raise Charizard's level, it's a little bit risky. Blaze Pattaya does do a lot. Yeah, I think I'll leave Garchomp alone, even though I think Garchomp can probably Oko it. We'll boost Venusaur. The Skeptile won't... The, the Garchomp is the same matchup in the Skeptile at 55 as it does at 50, but... Um, Blissey has a dramatically different matchup in terms of the Focus Plus crit. And Skeptile could crit Garchomp. <coughs> well, at least he's left a room. <coughs> I'm going to take this opportunity to heal Blissey. It only costs two more to also heal the PP. And I probably don't need Bissy for this match. Okay, muting again.
So yeah, a small learning point is that Venusaur comes in before Charizard because even though Giga Drain doesn't do as much as Air Slash, um, it applies Stab as if it was Skeptile, which makes Giga Drain 90 power effectively on the switch decision. I'm pretty sure it doesn't kill. Yeah. Yeah, Charizard is base 78 HP. That's 153 at level 50. Don't necessarily need to heal Garchomp. That's Marowak. It's an unknown Marowak set. We might get information from the other two based on what their set index is. It's Toxicroak free. And that's Ludicolo free. Okay, so it probably is Marowak free. Toxicroak free is a Toxicroak free is a problem if um Garchomp faints. I mean to be honest, Ludicolo free is a little bit annoying too with the wide lens on Focus Blast. So what I want to be able to do is just switch Lapras straight in. I think I've got to check what moves you've got. Okay, you, you are indeed Marak free. Marak free will want to outrage a full health Garchomp, which is a free Lapras switch. Now, a, an outrage and an outrage into plus one defense. That will be around 75%. I heal 12% from leftovers. I think Lapras just about survives Curse into Rest. Is there any reason to risk that? Once I've used... Ah, uh, no, but Outrage could... It could be a two-turn Outrage. And then Outrage into plus one defense Outrage into a plus one defense Earthquake will kill Lapras. So Marak is... Marak does have to be sent down to level 45. And if I'm sending Marak down to level 45, I might as well just outrage it with Garchomp. Because that'll kill, surely. And then Nudicolo 3 comes in, but Outrage will kill that too. And then Toxicroak 3 comes in. And even if Garchomp gets confused, I can just switch out and then Garchomp can kill it later. So that's the solution. In fact, I can even raise Toxicroak's level. But instead of doing that, I'm just going to not heal. Let me just double check. 113151. One, one. Yes, I'm right about these. Am I going to raise Toxicroak 3? I mean, at level 55, it can one shot Blissey. Uh, with a crit, and it can one-shot Lapras. I'm just going to leave it at level 50. Just in case I misclick or something. Let me just check if I've got enough Outrage PP. So Lapras has no Curse PP, so I, I'm fully committing to the line. Which I think is fine. Lapras isn't using Curse on the back two anyway. Okay, so something might be dying. It acts randomly when it sees a kill with auto auto boost. It's gonna focus blast. I'll see if I can stall it out.
So no crit, no spadef drop is a great start. And it's now out. And it can't break the sub. So it loses. Check the points total. Four one two six. Wow, I lost a lot. I lost seventy five. So that was a really bad set. But it had a lot of threats. I think it was unavoidable. I could have squeezed a few more points out here and there. But it was a dangerous, it was a dangerous set. Is Lucario 4 and not Alakazam? I'm not going to make that mistake again. This is Honch Crow 4 again. That's Kingdra 4. Well, obviously, Oko, Lucario, and Kingdra. I will not get Honchkro, but also Honchkro can never beat Lapras. The question is, I'm obviously raising the other two up. The question is if I am increasing the level of Kingdra. I think a level 55 Kingdra could survive. This Kingdra 4 has max HP investment. So we're not going to raise that, I think. We can raise Lucario on Honchkro, though. Garshop does not need a choice band yet. In fact, I could even just have Garchomp face Honchkro. Because while Drill Peck into Sucker Punch will kill, it has to actually execute those moves. Okay, yeah. Well, that's fine. I lose a few points. Yeah, I lose six points, I think. And I have to heal, I suppose I'll do 16 points. I have to heal Garchomp. It's Rhydon 3, it's the one without stab. And that's Rampardos 3. Yeah, Skarmory 1. A lot of ways I could say I could take this match. I could just give Garchomp a choice band and murder the first two. Skarmory one is surprisingly 
difficult to deal with on this team because it loves to spam raw after spikes. So what I could do instead is just drop Rhydon's level, increase the other two. Actually, I don't even want, do I want to increase Skarmory's level? It's fine. I do need to drop Rhydon's level. Skarmory is going to roar immediately. If Blissey comes out, then I can just seismic toss it. I don't want Garshom to faint, I guess I have to heal it. But Garshom doesn't need an item yet. It just used Hammer Arm into Garshomp. Instead of Outrage or Avalanche. I am faster though. In fact, I'm faster after two curses, aren't I? I don't want to risk it. Samurai only has 10 PP, I'm not at any risk here. These rests aren't even necessary. Rampardus Free is always going to break the sub no matter what. I'm just uh, I'm just thinking, is it even worth using an extra curse? I suppose the damage against Skarmory does matter. I'm impressed that almost killed. I wasn't expecting that to have any chance of killing. So our two shot ramp. Yeah. There's no point trying to keep the sub up for Skarm. Because it's going to roar anyway. That might be double outrage range. It's not. And of course, okay, that's fine. That was as well as Skarmory 1 can go. It's Megadium 4 that lacks incense. That has light screen. And that's Leafeon 4. Leafeon 4 is a surprisingly deadly set for this team. Is that Sangrove 1 or 3? No, one is the Cobra Berry set, it's Tango Free. Um I think the gaining is actually forced to use light screen or ancient power turn one. Uh 
I need to level down Leafeon though. Actually, Tangrove comes in, doesn't it? Okay, I think I'll set up Plissy then. And still level down Leafeon. A level 50 Leafeon. I'm... If Lapras isn't already set up a level 50 Leafeon can rip through the team. A Gaining Force should not be able to do anything at all. Neither should Tangrowth. It is Chlorophyll, but that's completely fine. And the Solar Beam will break the sub even at level 50 on Blissey. The Overgrow Frenzy Plant crit on Blissey does huge damage. That's the only thing I've got to watch out for. And Meganium is faster at level 55 than Blissey. Because it's, yeah, it's 110. Perhaps I shouldn't have raised the level that on that. It's okay though. It's okay. If it does, if it does crit your Blissey in Overgrow, I get a free curse into Ice Shard anyway. In fact, I get a free sub, curse, sub, curse, sub, curse, sub, Ice Shard. And that will be enough to two shot Tangrove so I win. I win if that happens, that's fine. Garchomp doesn't need an item. So it's light screen turn one. There's the ancient power. It'll be stuck using those. Maybe I should actually I'll size when toss once to Nice Miss Blissey. Size toss once to try and stop it from using ancient power too much. It's a lot more likely to want to use Frenzy Plant or Hyper Beam when it's not at full health. It didn't get a boost though. Go up to plus six. I kind of need plus six for Leafeon anyway, because it will force Leafeon to start using Air Relays. So it has Overgrow, but. Uh, Seismic Toss won't kill from here. There's no way of breaking the sub without going to recharge turn anyway. It's annoying the last one hit. Yeah. I'm going to play this extra safe. Do not want to get crit leaf blade. And two Seismic Toss is enough to bring it into Ice Shard range. Fine, Leafeon does not kill with Crit Leaf Blade. Jesus. Arguably, I should not have risked that. Yeah, I should have switched to Garchomp there. Small PP war incoming. That's not an opening to kill it. It has 192 HP because the Tangrowth is base 100 HP and it's invested. It'll want a Solar Beam now, though. I think I might be able to get it because it's faster. I don't think it wants a Synthesis quite as much. The synthesis left it, left it open to that. The fact it was chlorophyll. That's Drift Blim 2 again. That's Absol. 1. No. No, 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 it's not Absol. Look at the high defenses are.
What has high, such high defense speed stack? Wait, is this a low? This is a thirty-one IV trainer. Yes. Base forty-five speed pressure. Why am I drawing a blank? What is it? Look up time. Muscle band. Oh, it's Dusk Noir. Of course. Yeah, Dusk Noir 4. And that's Magnezone 2. Weird mix of poke, but it is correct. So I can just substitute on Drift Blim, and it will not reliably use payback enough times to get through Guard Chomp. After it misses a, a single one, I'm able to Sword Stance. So I want a person berry. If it does somehow get through Garchomp, um, that would be irritating. I'd probably stall it out with Blissey. Then Dusk Noir four is a little bit of an it's a little bit of a nuisance for Black Press. It would be. I feel like it's very cowardly to lower Dusk Noir's level, though. I mean, Magnezone, we don't care. The first thing it can do is blow up. If I change Magnezone's level, am I turning the free hit KO into a 4 hit? Surely not. I'll be at plus 2 from Sword Stance. Maybe more. I think we can raise Magnezone. To be honest, we can raise Drift Blim, too. It's the same, it's the same matchup. I suppose uh, I I raise drift boom. It's fast and blissy. I don't think there's any chance drift actually goes through anyway. It's excessively safe to lower dust to our level. Am I going to do it? Yeah, I think so. It's needless safety, but... Why lose to a stupid flinch chain from Brock Slide? Um... Yeah, sorry, I, I wasn't looking at chat. I was lost in thought. I've got the equip Persenberry. But I might be switching out anyway, I haven't really decided. Don't do that two more times. Yeah, okay, good. At 69 life, I'm probably in Iron Head range. I still think I'd rather go to plus four. Because at plus four, I'm going to two shot Magnezone. And Drift Blim gives me the free turn anyway. Okay, well, that's perfect. Getting confused is fine. We'll just go that press. At some point, I want to sub to prevent Psych Up and Swagger. Yeah. So Magnezone also gets stuck on Psych Up if I use one more curse. It'll take a while to get it down with Ice Shard. 
issues it wants to explode i don't want it to explode okay so with plus three defense um rock slide is not a realistic issue anymore Gonna break the sub when I'm asleep. But I can't avoid that. We'll do the first eye shot now, and then we can decide when to use the next one. Rig break isn't gonna shoot yeah, it doesn't even full shot the sub. Garstromp is low, it's not that low though. That's Star Raptor 3. Cassidberry Steadfast Gallade 1. Charty Berry Pressure, that's Articuno 4. Star up to three is exceptionally annoying. I would need to under level it and equip a choice band in order for Garchon to kill it. It might be better to equip a focus sash. I'm not sure Garshom could even get Articuno at plus one though. Hundred, yeah, it won't. That'll be a roll. So heal Focus Ash. That's twenty CP. Send Articuno to forty-five is thirty-five CP. No, there's no way this is optimal. I mean, 35 CP is also how much it costs to equip a choice band and under level Star Raptor. <sighs> no, I think it's. I'm gonna have to send Articuno down, it's got sheer cold. Got three separate matches left. How much do I want to have choice band on Garchomp? It is generally the most useful item. I guess I'll do it. Okay, let's do it. We can't raise Gallade's level. That pass is low, but it doesn't matter. Do oh, I forgot about ancient power? How many curses to be completely saving? into the Gallade, I probably want at least three. Ancient Power probably doesn't break the sub. It could do, it could do though. Yeah, I bet it could. After two curses, I suspect Ancient Power still does less damage than Brick Break though.
But I'll get an entire round of leftovers healing if I kill it right now. I'm concerned about Gallade using Confuse Ray. That's the biggest issue. It must be correct to curse again, surely. Curse again, because then I can actually use Substitute. I'm actually going to rest on that. It would only take three fully paralyzed. Three full paralysis turns and I'm dead, yeah. That does, uh, that does slightly more than I was expecting, actually. I think if I hit myself here, I could be inside Brick Break range. The one good thing about this situation is that Blissey is faster than Gallade. And Gallade has used five Brick Break. It would have to use two more. That's relatively close. On the other hand, does it even matter? I mean, if I get if I get to move, I want to rest. I suppose if I hurt myself in confusion this turn, I have to ice shard. Ooh. Yeah. Um. While Galay doesn't see a kill, it is quite likely to Thunder Wave. My self hit will do around 15 damage. We'll go for the rest until we're definitely within Brick Break kill range, and then we'll Ice Shard. That's bad. Well, I think we're two in. We're still outside of two hit KO range. 58. But we're at plus three. Oh, surely we survive. So this turn it'll be correct to go for rest, but next turn we'll have to ice shard. Actually, we run out. We've been confused for the maximum number of turns after this. So it'd only be full paralysis that would stop. Yeah, it was a maximum turn confusing, but actually that was fine. Glade will run out of Brick Break PP for beating Blissey anyway at this point. We have actually already won. This will be a roll, I think. I'm breaking a substitute. I want to get substitute in. Yeah. At plus four defense, I am now safe. This really validates the decision to give Blissey enough speed EVs to outrun Gallade. I'm glad I had thought of that before. I 
Arguably, I should have used Substitute twice before the curse. Because Gallade will get stuck on Thunder Wave, Confuse Way. Mm. It's debatable though. White Herb Latias for. That's Freddy Gigas 2. And the middle one. Sweeping four. So we murder Latias. Suicune comes in and kills. Blissy beats Suicune. Regigigas never beats Blissy. And even if it does, it can't get through Lapras. It's a relatively straightforward battle. We can't raise Latias's level because it's outspeed Garchomp. We could actually raise Suicune's level, it doesn't matter. Actually, no, 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 no. Suicune 4 is Calm Mind. But it will never Calm Mind against Garchomp. So as long as I... yeah, Garchomp faints, it's, it's fine. Okay, so don't mess around with Suicune 4, just kill it. The banded outrage into two seismic toss will surely be enough. Yeah, that'll be safe. And Reggie Gigas 2, we can raise your level. You don't do anything. But we need to heal Lapras. I don't need to heal Garchomp, and Garchomp's going to faint anyway. Crit, crit it, crit it. Oh. Would I want to sub even if it uses Calm Mind? No. No, I'll just Seismic Toss. I don't want you to confuse me though. That's surprisingly irritating. Okay, I might have to send. Flat press in against this thing. Is there any point wasting PP on Blissey? Because that's what I'd be doing at this point. I see no reason to. I guess we can seismic toss. Until it breaks the sub. With 10 seismic dust PP, do I even care about Blissey? I'm going to heal you surely anyway. It's the last battle next, I don't think so. 8 seismic dust PP is about as useful as 10. You've finally broken the sub. I'm going to switch out. So facade is a 20 pp move, zen headbutt is 15. I'm 
Ice Shard does at least break the sub. Go for the funny crit. Uh, it almost doesn't even have damage leftovers. I'll just stay on Ice Shard then. The dream of ending this before struggle. The move I most want to race any is, is Ice Shard anyway. Substitute and rest are a lot more precious. Come on, hit it. You should be hitting one in three, which means I should be doing damage over time on average. I'm definitely not going to wait for full HP. Ah, uh, it's not in kill range anymore anyway. On the... Come on. So I'm at four, ten, eight castle points. I've lost a lot again. That's the Glade three four lottery. They both have identical stats and items. And this is Medicham too. So it's a fighting train. We don't know what the set is for Glade. We'll have to check. Infernate four. Actually, we we're, we're banded. We kill, we kill Infern. We kill um Gilead with earthquake. So we'll just um murder the whole team. Yes, yeah, so Infernate to forty five. So we're faster, and then these two will faint um, at level 55 to Abandoned Earthquake got 93 and 104 health ok it might be a little bit close on Medicham 2 the Medicham is still base 60 HP that's 148 HP at level 55 of our investments we do kill. Just trying to remember, are there any Pokemon that have priority there? Glade 3 is... Oh no, it could be Glade 4, couldn't it? Check. The Gallade 4 is Psycho Cut, Leaf Blade, Close Combat, Night Slash, and Gallade 3 doesn't have any priority moves. This costs 8 CP, but I'm it covers me for being wrong about the Medisham 2 role. I'm pretty sure Medicham faints. Yeah, okay, good. Or one one eight, so a slight gain. No, no, we lost it, didn't we? We were at four one two six before. To get to a thousand before I go on holiday, I need to average above twenty. Though I need to, I need to go again. 
don't really want to play anymore. Be really nice if we could get some really easy Garchomp wins. Or very easy Black Press Blitty setups. Kepley on two. Magic Guard, Adamant, Focus Band. A60 speed. Is that Zatu? No, Zatu 2 is way too fast for Zatu anyway. Um. Fine, full look up. Of course, it's Clef. Forgot that Clef was possible to appear in the front of you. That Kadabra too, yes. Okay, weird trainer. So if I just attack with Banded Outrage. Hmm. Actually, <laughs> just realize. Kecleod is going to give me the choice scarf. Hmm. Do I want the choice scarf or do I want to just substitute swords, dance, and murder everything? Choice Scarf is an okay item on Garstrom. I don't, I don't love running it really. I think I'm sliding towards no. Let's just get Kecleon stuck on trick like an idiot and murder everything. Yeah. So we can't raise Kadabra's level. We'll raise you. We'll raise. You. Okay, Focus Band could activate. That would be a bit annoying. Um, but it doesn't matter. I don't think I want the choice scarf. It's an interesting proposition though. I don't think I want it. Now nah, we'll just substitute on the trick. Interesting it didn't it didn't use trick. It's a little bit rare. I guess it could crit guard jump here, that would be annoying. Yeah, so focus band here, Garchomp faints as well. No focus band. Being low on Garchomp is fine, it means that we're in berry range. You can just equip a pinch berry. This is Alakazam 4, but it's a 21 IV set. Is that Machamp 4? It's Machamp 3 or Machamp 4? Yeah, well, it's probably Machamp 4 if it's a 20... If it's a set 4 Alakazam, it's probably a set 4 Machamp. And you're an Infernate 4. Okay, 
there it's probably my chance for no guard is horrendously bad if it was a guts my champ maybe i could try and attempt to this is still the fact that it's slower and runs quick claw and runs cross chop which would obviously instantly kill blissey and cross chop crit would kill garchomp and i can't set up black press on cross chop I do not have to skip. I could give, I could give Blissey a focus sash instead of a leftovers. So I would drop Alakazam's level. Actually, I wouldn't even need to because it's a. No, I don't need to because it's a twenty-one IV trainer. So I just, I could just earthquake Alakazam. Uh, I could Earthquake Alakazam with a Focus Sashed Garchomp, Outrage Machamp, assuming that Machamp gets the crit on Garchomp, I can go Lapras. The issue is I don't trust Lapras to two-shot with Ice Shard unless Machamp is level 45. And if my champ is level 45, then I think I'd probably one shot it. This does not fix the problem of Infernate 4 with King's Rock being the back either. That also does way too much damage. I think I get a skip. I'm either going to skip or I have to stall Alakazam out of all of its moves and then use Curse. That's what I would do if it was in the tower, but I, I can just skip this match. Okay, so that's... <clears throat> that's the end of wanting to go positive for points today, I suppose. Better than losing. Yeah, better than losing. Um, this is the Charizard Typhlosion ambiguous stat overlap. It's the Char. It is Charizard for uh, two though. The Typhlosion four is exactly the same stats. This is Blaziken. Skeptile one is Lychee. So equip, uh, choice band, hmm. Skeptile 1 is an interesting Pokemon, because <clears throat> Lapras can set up on it, assuming it doesn't Screech. Turn 1 Screech on it is horrendous, so I'd be giving it Overgrow with Ice Shard potentially. Yeah, that is horrendous. Curse into Ice Shard is... Overgrow Leaf Blade. That will definitely end Lapras. So I guess if it screeches, I have to curse it again. But a plus two Ice Shard won't kill Lap uh, Skeptile. And all of that just sounds like one big reason to. Oh, I can't. I'm not going to be fast at level 45. Ugh. Alternatively, 
Charizard blows its load with White Herb Overheat onto Blissey. And then Lapras comes in and sets up. Uh, that's pretty good, I think. So I'll drop Charizard's level and bait it into lowering its special attack and then win. If I do that, I can raise the level of the last two. That seems safe. I might need Garchomp. I might need Garchomp. In fact, in fact, what I can do is substitute. Okay, Garchomp might be able to sweep this. It'd be a much faster win if Garchomp can sweep here. So I can substitute, and if it uses um, Will O Wisp or Sunny Day. I can just outright win with Garchomp. Okay, well that's literally perfect. Um, I do not need any more boosts to go through the entire team. This would have worked at a level 50 Charizard. Oh, it's fine. Four. I'd really like to get up and point slightly. Clay doll free, yes. Your base speed is too low to be. Yeah, you have to be Peripass, you can't be Magnezone. And there's only one arena trap Pokemon, which is Doug Trio. So, Clay Doll 3, I can go through Lapras into Blissey so that Blissey doesn't get frozen on the switch. And Doug Trio sucks and Profas sucks. Claydol 3 could get a charge beam boost. It would need more than one for it to matter. But if I raise its level, it's faster than Blissey. Which is a significant milestone in terms of actually posing a threat. The other two are completely fine at level 50 though. Yeah, it's always Lapras first here. And then it will either Earth Power or Psychic as I go into Plissy. And it doesn't get the defense special defense drop, so I win. I would not always have to go up to plus six evasion, but Doug Trio will potentially two shot Blissey. And I would like to beat Doug Trio. It should be Doug Trio in first because it has a stronger move. No point in subbing when Earthquake does so much damage. I can, however, sub against you because I'm faster. Oh, 
Ooh, I probably do free shot you, don't I? Yes. Mr. Base 60. And fortress free. Salak Bay, which one are you? Are you Medicham one or four? You're Medicham one, I think. I actually forgot. Did I? Did I ever give Garchomp a? I didn't give him. A, I didn't give. Gosh, Trump, uh, banned this game yet. I can still just do a regular earthquake into Toxic Croak. Fortress 3 doesn't do anything. And Medicham 1. It's a little bit. It's a little bit deadly. I'm just going to mute, sorry. Yeah, this this might be a good demonstration of why Ishard is such an amazing move. Um because after Earthquake on Medicham, the massive threat will be reversal Salakberry. But with Ishard it's impossible for Blackpress to lose. And Fortress messed up, so I get the free win anyway. Surprisingly, I haven't lost too much CP. The skip was bad, but every other battle has been quite good in terms of not being too expensive on points. This is Gengar 2, I think. Uh, an annoying set if you don't have a Garchomp, which is faster. That's Executor 2. So it's probably a Set 2 trainer. And that Tyranitar is... No, it's Hip it's Hippowdon 2. Can't raise the level of Gengar because it's too fast. The Executor is never a threat. The Hippowdon is deeply irritating because of how Sandstream turns off um, Leftover's passive healing. And also just because it's incredibly bulky. What I might do here is give Garchomp Leftovers. Due to how much that helps um, Garchomp versus Executor. If 
that one is a surprisingly big problem. I guess I'll have to... I'll have to substitute on the earthquakes. Could three earthquakes kill? Sand chip happens first. I'm that press is slightly shaky actually into that. Okay, well if I'm pausing I should be saying it's level forty five. At forty five it will never beat lap press. And at 45, I also don't have to equip. I don't have to equip um, Garchomp with the leftovers anymore. It's not a problem. So I'll. See what Executor does. Does go for Hypnosis. We'll go Blissey. I think Blissey will be fine. Don't need too many, I suppose, hip out on. Citrus Berry does get in the way of that four hit KO. So we do need a few more boosts. Yeah, that's healing too much. It's going to be another one. Seismic is at 15 pp. I'm going to go down to 12. Yeah. 12 is just about enough. That is most most Pokemon are 4 hit shot by Seismic Toss. They don't have healing or they're not pretty bulky. It's a bomber so free. Reg Ice to oh, that's going to be annoying to face in the hail. It's Glaceon one. <sighs> Lapras wins after a bomber snow faints, I guess. It's just going to take a very long time. There is an outside. Oh, but a bomber snow is. Yeah, you're looking at a factor of 40% increase there. Okay, so Glacium 1 should come in first. Is that true? No, surely it will be Reg Ice. Reg Ice will be in first. Can I can I do Blissey versus Reg Ice? Is that that gets risky after? To be honest, get risky risky after a single curse. I don't want to put Lapras on a chest though. Though it's so much uglier to try and win with that. Garchomp really doesn't have to do anything this match. In fact, I should assume it would do nothing. This struggles with a bomber snow slightly, doesn't it? I don't, I am not comfortable. I am nervous of Lissy versus Obama Snow. 
45 it is. There's no good way to beat Regice too quickly. I know this already. It will be a four shot with Seismic Toss, which reminds me that I probably need to heal Blissey. Laprash should just win. Yeah, Laprash should just win. I only need to beat Abomaso with Blissey. Blizzard has perfect accuracy in the in the hail, but um, it only has five Blizzard PP. Glacial doesn't do anything. We can raise its level. But I'm leaving Wedge Ice 2 alone. Shouldn't uh, there must be a special AI on Blizzard for it to use Blizzard here over Focus Blast? Doesn't actually matter in this specific instance. It's quite impressive that Blissey doesn't break its sub from that actually. The question here is actually, do I want to set up Lapras early? I don't, the thing is, it would, it runs out of all of its moves except for Shadow Ball, and I don't want Shadow Ball to ever get a Spadef drop in Lapras. I need to decide what the plan is for Reg Ice in terms of staying in with Blissey or not. Gosh, that energy ball two shots to sub. But Focus Blast didn't one shot it. It must there must be a roll on both of those then. See, I do like using a single side toss against Regice because it reduces the chance of Regice using curse. If it uses Curse, I'll have to switch though. Yeah, I do have to switch now. It's okay to be slightly behind in the boosts, but I can't be more than two behind. Yeah, so the, the dream of ending this early is dead. This is going to be a long game. At least it's the final game. I do want to have enough PP for Glaceon though. I guess I'll take advantage of resting when I can. I've got no chance of killing this Regice soon. But only it only has 45 um, PP on all its moves. And it used um, 2 PP before Lapras came in. 
So I'll know when it's getting close to being running out. This is nice because I can spend more turns of sleep. Saves the PP situation into Glaceon potentially. I'm actually just going to rest without substitute. It increases the number of turns I can be asleep for later because I can substitute into rest the force to rest to be viable. So yeah, the um, double team is 15 PP. The all the all of its other moves are 10. It's 45 total. If we take quick stock of how many uh, PP we've used, it's 10, 13, 15, with 11 turns of sleep. So it should be out in five turns time. So we'll start using Ice Shard. I want to keep six curses just in case, for whatever reason, Lapras is forced out of Glaceon and wants to reboost. So Again, we've used seven. 15, 20, 25, spent 15 turns of sleep. It's got four turns of not a struggling left. In terms of enough PP to kill Glaceon, um, we will probably get the four shot on Glaceon. Not necessarily guaranteed. And we want to attack before it starts using double team. And Glaceon will occasionally assume that Lapras has Water Absorb because the AI can't know the player's ability. But it could use Water Pulse. I do not want to get confused. I think it's worth taking a time off just to substitute first. And now the question is, do I want to kill this or do I care about one castle point? And I think the answer is, I don't care. I just want to end this match. It's not a healing though. Okay, we'll find we'll we'll go for maximum points. Nice. Four one three two. We're still down overall, but a little bit of recovery at least. Um, I'll stream some Gen two, the Gen three factory later. Try and extend the world record on that. Um, might be busy. I've got to eat first. I'll see. Maybe I'll stream later.